Remember the recent reviews of a craft knife? Now today we are going to do a different craft knife. This one I got it from Hobby Craft, and it have a high quality blade with a metal handle on the end. This part, the good things also have the rubber band. Usually people confuse how to change the blade and people twist there, but the wrong place is you just need to twist this part, and it will come out it soon. We will just feel it wobbly. Then that's good enough to pull the blade. You might to wobble it a bit. Then you, that's how to change a blade. Just be careful. Don't cut your hand when you're holding blade. Always hold it from the sideways. This way is wrong. So better to hold this way. You will put the new blade. Just remember to pull it from this part. And you just plug it in. And twist it till it's tight enough. So make sure that don't fall off. And uh, now you can do some cutting with it. First, we are going to try to cut a piece of plastic. You remember from my recent upload about the craft knife. Now see how easy is this one. Now only put a little bit of force on it. Now see, pretty much it's cutting down. It's pretty sharp. A bit like razor sharp, so you also need adult supervision to use a knife like that if you're under age. Now try to cut it sideways. Oh, so easy. Look at that. And do another thing is cutting a piece of hard plastic board. Draw it sideways like that. Only need to apply a bit of force. Only once you cut it down. Now try to cut a thicker cardboard. Mm, I will find one. Just wait a minute. Now you see it's piece of a uh, th uh, thick one. Just try to cut it. See how easy. Oh, a bit sleepy. See, now you can cut it super easily. You can also draw lines. See how fast I cut it if I draw lines to it. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's now off. You only need to fry press to cut a thicker cardboard. So just remember one thing the cut blunt knives, so you change the blade regularly. A sharp blade, a blade can't cause that many harm because it's that's slippy enough. So that does not mean you're going to cut your hand with it. But a blunt knife, they can be super slippy, so they are more dangerous than a sharp knife. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot one thing. To cut a hot glue stick. Now try how easy is this one. Last time I pushed a bit force to it. This time, oh, it's just stuck because the blade was thick enough. But it just cuts perfectly through. See? So I think it's worth it to buy one, and uh, I'm going to get the blade kit. Here I have two box or little box of blades. Each of mm, box contains five, and I put this one also into this one. And this empty box is for, for putting the broken blades or the the blades hasn't been has been used and uh, can't cut anymore. This is the safest ways to keep it to keep it secure. If you throw them in the bin, uh, like the one that recycling metals, and the workers wouldn't cut their hands. So this is the most sensible ways to do with blades. Also, just be careful. The best ways to click to store your blades is put it flat like that. Usually, if you put it like that, you can also cut the metal bits. So don't shake it with this box. Now, pretty much about the review. So worth it. Just don't. Just remember to buy two box of them. Now. If you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you next week.